coming into the uh, whirlpool of the uh, geopolitics of this area. So unnecessarily, unfortunately, this government has given way to such a geopolitic uh, tensions in these areas, which could have been avoided. The same people who really brought them in earlier, and now they are unable to get out of the clutches of foreign countries, which have, uh, which have, which are using fair amount of pressure and influence on them. So at the moment, what is taking place is we are at the receiving end of uh, geopolitics uh, problems be between two large countries, and therefore we have to be very, very careful. But this government seems to be helping one against the other, the other against the one, and uh, that seems to be not in the best use of the country. And I would say it is very dangerous because we are already uh, very badly placed financially, economically. But now I understand today that China is going to give some trillion rupees to aid. Then India has promised some aid. So. What happens is uh, uh, they, uh, you play each against the other and try and get the maximum out of them, but finally you will get uh, placed in a very embarrassing position as far as both are concerned. The Mitra Shakti, the eighth edition of the Sri Lanka Army and the Indian Army uh, military exercise com comprising of 120 uh, Indian Army Armed Forces personnel coming to Sri Lanka for a 12-day exercise was something that the both countries bonded in their national security policies as well as a new foreign policy outreach in the neighborhood foreign policy manifestation. Uh, when it comes to India, the neighborhood first policy uh, is something that we have to think about. And also counterinsurgency, uh, terrorism, as well as uh, combating the cyber crimes is something that the globe, uh, global world is thinking on the 21st century. The Mitra Sakchi excise, which happened in the eastern part of Sri Lanka, in Ampara district, is something that many countries are watching. The close connection between India and Sri Lanka is something that not only militarily, the soft powers of culture, as well as two millennia of history, goes back to the time of Rama Setu Bridge and the Ramayana period. This is something that we can say. The history, as well as national security, as well as the close connection between the nearest neighbor is something that Sri Lanka is watchful and India in this new foreign policy dynamics is concerned about the Indian Ocean Dream States and how it will manifest its next national security policy is uh, something that the Indo-Pacific paradigm is concerned. Chinese coming to the north may have something to do with the government being not very helpful with the Chinese in the south and now they are trying to uh, uh, sort of get closer to the Tamils in the north. Now all this is uh, unnecessary and uh, 
it is not it is not in the interest of any small country to become uh, uh, a sort of cat's paw for the for the larger countries but then that's how it is going on uh, i see dangers in all these things as far as we are concerned we are very close to uh, the as far as the tamils are concerned we are close to india because of the uh, the closeness of our culture and religion and so on and uh, they, they are our neighbors even our fishermen from this side they get intermarry with the fishermen on the other side so there is certain amount of uh, closeness between the two people so chinese coming in there is felt to be a uh, intrusion by people who are un unwanted but uh, we do not want to hurt the chinese in any way but this is how the people feel so we have to wait and see how uh, uh, decisions are taken by the government in the future because uh, this can lead to a lot of uh, embarrassment for the government and also difficulties for the people in the in the in the in the coming years coming may, may, uh, months